Uh, mean... Minecraft Story Mode, Episode 4. Yeah. A block in a hard place. <laughs> a block in a hard place. I mean... Because oh, it's, uh, it's a saying. When the person it's it's a, when a person is stuck between two places that they can't move around, we either either literally or figuratively, it doesn't it doesn't say stuck between a block and a hard place. It's just a block and a hard place. We're not stuck between them. No, we're just oh, aware. aware. But Eric, it's clearly yeah, supposed it's to be that. It's alluding to it. Stuck in a rock and a hard place is the same, but a rock and a hard place would be a good title for I don't know a song by Taylor Swift. I want Swift. it noted. <laughs> I want it noted, yeah, that his narration began with "everything starts as a block." I just want that sentiment to be considered for a moment that everything in this universe starts as a block. Well, you say he was beloved. I knew him for, like, less than an episode overall of his screen Thank time. God. That's not true. We, we, pork chops don't start as a block. They start as a mob. A threat to this world. Yeah, but the, what does the mob start as? A mob? It, it, it just appears from nothingness. <clears throat> it can sometimes start from an egg, which is a material, not a block. What came first, the mob or the block? Well, I guess the blocks came first, but the mobs sort of came about independently of the blocks. So, all we served to do last part was just fucking make everything absolutely worse. Basically, we've done the same as we've always been doing. Okay, so, like, I, I, I still haven't watched the first part, but I'm assuming... So, from what I gather, we had the choice to save Captain Redhead here, or Useless Gabriel... And whoever you choose to not save actually lives, and the one you do save dies in the last part, as we saw. No, no, no. The one who dies is the one we took armor from, which was one of the other members of the Order of the Stone. Which was either Eligard the Engineer oh, or a... Magnus, the guy who would have joined the Nazi party. Wait, so where's Gabriel? He's somewhere around. Um, oh, there he is. There, there he is. What? He was Hi, hiding Gabriel. behind this wall. So our choice to save one whoa, of them. Wait, wait, wait! Did you part. see Gabriel is first in fucking line, running there? Bullshit! He said. <laughs> <Wait. laughs> Gabriel's all been close to death once. He doesn't want to do it again. He's getting the fuck out of there. The fucking first guy in line. God damn it! Go. Wither sickness can't stop his fear. Just let the Enderman die, you fucking weirdo. I, I loved it. I love that lie. It's like, so you're gonna die for them? N no, no. What a fucking. All these characters are worthless. Axel, you gotta move faster! Oh my god. Mm, Axel, just give wait, up. Wait, wait, wait. wait, oh, he used up all of his energy. He splits well out of there and then fucking fumbles over. We're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam. Anyone seen a mine car? I wouldn't really call a tractor. You, I would have built the portal. You know, you know, like I wouldn't really call if a live being is like has like tractors. I wouldn't call it a tractor beam. You know? What would you call you know, it? I guess. You know I, I don't know, but I wouldn't call it a tractor beam. How about a um an ender beam, a wither beam, a UFO beam? That, that that suck, mm, baby. What about us? It'd be hard to say it in tense situations, though. <laughs> we'll take the reins, and they can just hang on. This makes no goddamn difference. Hold on, this might be a but it sure, but it, but like maybe it it just who's your favorite character, and you get to pick. But I don't like either of them. I mean, I'm not gonna complain if, like, a uh, game just allows a random, like, one-off Yeah, game. I'm not complaining, it's just pointing out, because it's kind of, cause we do the extra shit that this choice doesn't matter. Who, who is your favorite character of the party? That's the- because, like, that's the thing- fuck you, Eric. Because that's the thing. Telltale, like, gives you these choices <laughs> where, you know- Wait, hang on, I love this- this section, though, because it doesn't make a difference if you go up to them or not, you just- <laughs> 
go and fucking beat the shit out of them if you want Why? to. Why? I don't know, but see that little bitch survive. on the chicken, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> But no, 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 okay, but, no, but you. my fucking point, what I was talking about, Jesus Christ, Eric, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I just get, I got to interrupt him. <laughs> the thing with Telltale is, let me take a drink, no one say anything. The thing with Telltale, just try and keep oh my god, together, Eric, Petra. the thing with Telltale. <laughs> Hang on, I'm taking a drink, don't say anything. <laughs> Well, yeah, let me let me sip my latte. <laughs> the thing with Telltale, boy, is that they'll give you these choices and they'll make it seem important. So when it just gives you a choice that's just like whatever, you know, just one-off choice that sort of affects how things look, it's 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 decent enough of them because usually they wouldn't even do that. And they do actually signpost the choices that really are big. Yeah, this, the music I, goes I, down, it slows down. It's like... You just watch, you just watch as the big guy lies on the floor while Kenny picks up the salt lick. The main character looks back and forth. <laughs> the world's just... It gets ready for it. So here's the big plot twist. The uh, Endermen uh, are, are working for us, apparently. What? Yeah, I don't trust Endermen. Fuck you! It's not so, only the only thing they do. They're annoying. What the, what the fuck is game? What? I fucking fuck hate. Or whatever he did you was. fucking see Soren? Did you fucking? I did see Soren. Decorating the shit. goddamn bridge like it matters. He's gonna suck it up anyway. That's me. That's what I'd be doing in this situation. Snake, goddamn, turn off your fucking Where notifications. What's going on? What notifications? Your achievements. I have no idea. Oh, I can't do that. You? you can? Well, you can't. What do you mean you can? Are you, people have got to know that it was my first time through the episode. <laughs> They've got to know that I'm getting those Chivos. <laughs> okay, wait, so is Gabriel or the other one, like, whichever one you get from... The no thing, you found like so, they're amnesiatic now. Yep. Yeah, they don't have. They have vague memories of their life before getting sucked into the wither storm, and it, and also he said, "Then I'm hearing voices." That doesn't go anywhere. I'm just gonna spoil it right now. Just, I'm hearing yeah, cause, voices. Yeah, because like the other character did not say that. Yeah. Well, I mean, that I, just means they basically know the same amount of the story as I do. So. Yeah, but but what's yeah. weird is that their eyes are uh, pinkish. So I guess something else is really happening to them, which might come into play, maybe? Maybe they just have pink eye. Quick, jump on that one. Goddamn. It's a real big problem inside the Witherstorm. <laughs> Massive influx of pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> it just, she just pushed us right on it. This is going to be a good segment, isn't it? Keep it together, Gabriel. Uh, Gabriel is such a pansy if he's the one who's amnesiac. <laughs> You know, I believe it, because he, he's easier. done nothing Gabriel, that's cool. Yeah. Gabriel's such think, a pansy regardless. I think the only thing he forgot in the Witherstorm was his facade of Machismo. <laughs> he's oh. so full of himself too, like, it's chasing me, I'm the main character here. <laughs> I'm wearing the most delicious armor. I love the horse flip. Oh, God. The horse dies, dies in the most saddest ways. <laughs> It, it, it <laughs> dies in like those old movies where they just like pulled the strings on the horse's legs to make them trip. <laughs> it's basically the same death three times, but I liked it so much. <laughs> Look at him go. Man, I'm gonna say, Telltale actually stepped up their death game this episode, and I appreciate it. I mean, I. We need more blocks. They don't have enough. So they're just staring <laughs> it's getting at closer. it. Follow, follow. Best stay here. They're just staring at it, hoping it grows on its own. That was really good dramatic timing, eh? Yeah. We get to make another shitty fucking hut. What the hell was Ruben doing this whole time? Not, not much of note. So, like, the end, the Witherstorm doesn't even seem to care about eating him, so what is he? If she was the so, place, like, 
Ocelot boy there. What what's his personality for this episode? Um, regretful. Any, anymore, fucking. He's he's completely done. We're almost halfway through. Don't. Uh, uh, regretful. How, how would you know what yourself if you don't remember who you are? It's one of the really big existential questions you should be pondering within the Witherstorm, and I'm disappointed you can't come out with a fucking answer. I feel like this group is way too big. It is. I just like the fact that, like, as he was introducing Olivia, she just fucking walks away. I don't even give a fuck. Like, in every episode, you could feel like a character but that could just would have been, you know, better left out. Like, one of uh, Axel or fucking Tell Petra, me, one of, please. not Petra, fucking Ethel, Ethel, on? one of those characters should have been just one character. I can't believe I'm saying this as well, but Axel becoming less annoying also basically meant he did nothing. Yeah, that's what, he, Axel is still annoying, he just does nothing. But he doesn't push his annoyingness enough to be memorable. None of these characters do anything. I was so scared. What do you mean? Yes, they do. Like, okay, just, Jesse initiates you, events, Soren or whatever has done yeah, some stuff. Back, these two have been useless since part two. Um, yeah, these, the, no, 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 the characters are useless, these characters, because these are the characters who we started this journey with. You know, you think these would be like the free mains, but they're, there's just Jesse and the rest of the losers. <laughs> like Gabriel and or what's the other one? Petra, the redhead. Petra, yeah. yeah. Like they've contributed nothing other than holding back the rest of the team by being sick. And not to mention they've built up to be the most competent fighter. But even before the sickness really done them in, what did they fucking do? I mean, Petra did a lot. Petra like saved us essentially. When? In Fuck, the it's the so bad. Part, I in the first part. Oh. That's the thing with Petra, because, like, Petra, in my opinion, is the most useful character, even when she's sick. Because, like, for some reason, the way they've made it is that Gabriel, even though has the same sickness, he's mm, mm, fucking multitudes of more useless than Petra. It's probably because he's wearing heavier armor. Aside from just being generally more useless, he's just heavier. Yeah, we've we spent three episodes building up to a failure of a plan to gather three incompetence, possibly four. So where where did this contentiousness in what's his name, Soren? Yeah, where did well, this he said come Soren. From? I think it was said Soren is eccentric and try and always goes off on his own whims, so... But she just said you have no idea, so apparently this is an ongoing character trait. It's just the first time we're seeing it. I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, it's been not made obvious that all of these characters have issues with each other, and basically how their team worked or, or didn't work is a fucking mystery. <laughs> I also think, going back to what... Eric said about, like, none of these characters have done anything. I think they've all done something. They've just spread every success each character has made so thin between them that it really looks like no one has done anything. Look, even if your friends are out there somewhere, there's nothing you can do for them. What? No. Wow. Damn. I know, it's brutal, isn't it? Need me, Jesse. Now, I had to- tunnel snake, yeah, bro! I had to remember something about playing Psychopath Jesse for a moment, and that is, Psychopath Jesse would tell him to go looking for his friends, wouldn't he? Because he wouldn't give a shit. I mean... I wouldn't go for those box, that box. I guess. Thank God that we still have Ruben. What would we do without him? We'd have to figure out puzzles. What's that? Of course you are. Last part, Ruben did nothing but bitch at you the entire time. Why does he have such really confidence in Ruben's good cheer? He's a passive-aggressive pig. Look at him right there. Or today. I just don't remember how exactly. I keep seeing a... Neither do I. But then that turns into trees. And that turns into... Probably, probably should say something that makes us look good. 
a bridge together. It was terrifying. Slash awesome. Yep, that would do it. Terrifying. You're the one who was... Do you remember me having better clothes back then? Jump off of a bridge just because all your friends were doing... Marginally. Oh, that's right, you did change clothes. Jesse. We're wearing the... exactly like fucking Axel, and it's awful. Oh my god, I didn't notice. Well, maybe we're going for a similar color scheme to show our solidarity. No, it makes sense that Axel would be dressing like fucking Soren, because Axel was like a big fucking fan of, uh... Not Soren, fucking... Who was that guy? Magnus. Magnus. I remember almost every character's name for some reason. Yeah, we're oddly good about that this episode. Not me. Wither thing together? Yes! So, Even then, it was been more cl it's been more accurate than it ever has been before. No, 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 no. Let's make let's make a game out of this. A, Eric, who is that? Um, Petra. Petra. Yes. Yes. That is Petra. Just remember her by the old Russian city of Petrograd. Who are those two? I have no idea who those two are. <laughs> That's God. Oh, I'm not going to say. In Newton. Goggle's girl is close enough, considering other people are fucking calling her that. Oh. Yeah. Well, those are Ethel Sick. and Axel. Okay, Ethel and Axel. I know Gabriel. That's Marcus. Who's this guy? Wait, who's Marcus? <laughs> I just said that. I just said that to annoy Nuna. Fucking Marcus, you piece of shit. So, what do you say? Will you be part of our group again? So that over there is Gabriel. Who's the pig? Reuben. Got that in fucking one second. <laughs> because who's that? I think so. <laughs> Ocelot, revolver <laughs> Ocelot. <laughs> <laughs> who's? Oh no, wait! I don't remember the other other fucking. Who is that? Who's that girl? Oh. That's Elagard. Oh, Elagard. Oh yeah, that she had the fucking. Yeah, I'm not remembering that. Elagard is the shittiest name in this because it's the hardest to remember. Elagard. Oh you say that, I, okay, I remember Axel, but I've already forgotten Goggles Girl's name. <laughs> Ethel. <laughs> you know what? I am beginning to doubt if her actual name is Ethel. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, you weren't being serious? It's fucking Olivia. <laughs> it is? Oh. <laughs> okay, right. Ethel, Ethel is, no wait, that's Ethan. And that's a reference only me and Eric would get if I even made it. I, I so don't who the get fuck it. is Ethel? Someone has to be Ethel. I don't think there has to be an Ethel. I no, think <laughs> you don't understand. Is she the I've woman we sent to her death? I've been calling her Ethel since part fucking two. <laughs> nice. I'm fucking glad. I haven't noticed. Wait. <laughs> Olivia? What kind of a fucking name is Olivia? Better than Ethel? Yeah. I I've known, like, four Olivias. I've never met an Ethel, to my knowledge. But then no, I've I know, never I know, met I know that it's a normal Oligard name, but I'm just pissed at it. I've been calling her Ethel this whole time. We are fucking great at this. We've been doing it for, what, three, four years now? We don't even bother to remember characters' names. That's what I appreciate. Some of us don't even bother to watch you know the what? rest of the playthrough. You know, my Ethel and fucking Olivia thing, I blame the two of you. Because you're fucking worthless. <laughs> I blame us as well, because really, we should be here to keep each other in check. But if we're all failing on the same level, does it really matter? I mean, you said, I, I thought that, like, male and female Jesse wait, 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 were wait, 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 wait. Why is Elagar saying for the both of us? Elagar should be fine to come with us. No, I think it's because last part she just realized how big a coward she was. You know, when they were saying who should launch the bomb and it's all, nah, fuck it, Jesse does it. I think they just realized that the best thing to do is to stay out of Jesse's way. Oh yeah, some leftover for... cobble, that, that, that's useful. I'm playing this like a fucking hoarder, so yeah, I just need to hold on to everything. <coughs> Oh, here's George. I told you, I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead. I'm going after my friends. I need to go find them. Look, I am. Where are you going at? They were ocelots. Were all fucking awful. They were all assholes. We're better friends, even if we're really shitty. But hell, just go die. You're right. They do need you. It just doesn't feel right, Jesse. Lucas, just get out of here. Get out of here. Good team so far. I'd even call us friends. 
so I hope you understand why Okay, that explains why the ocelots are his friends. He has really shitty standards in friends. <laughs> See, like, in part two, I thought these guys were supposed to be, like, best friends. Then part no. three, Lucas fucking despised Jesse, so I don't know what Okay, the you haven't watched part one, so let me explain their dynamic in 90s movie terms. They were the rival sports team. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Wait, so what's Jesse's team called, if they're the Ocelots? You can name them, I think they're called the Order of the Fucking Pig or something. I can't remember what we chose, it doesn't fucking matter. It Are you saying you again. didn't choose Tunnel Snakes? They you were, can't choose Tunnel Snakes. I think snakes. they were the Order of the Block or something. Oh, no, so it's like of... a pre-made list. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Ruben. It needs to be a pre-made list, because then they could reference it in dialogue later if they wanted to impress you. Yeah, and then, like, also, they were going to read it out loud. They're not going to, like, fucking record thousands of fucking lines. Am I glad you came along? Just don't tell Ruben Why? I said that. <laughs> it cuts to Ruben raising an eyebrow. Ruben! I'm going to tell Ruben so fucking hard. <laughs> it's right fucking there! Why are we standing around like a group of fucking dicks? Okay, you're gonna be even madder in a split second. Oh god. Well, uh, I can't remember if I acknowledge Can you Ruben. just I do abandon Ruben. them? It would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just, just the, like the put some dirt option. covering the door so they can't see how close <laughs> the thing is. And considering how this game treats blocks at times, they might actually, like, suffocate in there. I don't want to lose you, you understand? I know you... I don't want to lose my pig. OTP right here. I don't... I don't understand what's going through fucking Ruben's mind. You could just tap Ruben and knock him I off. I hate to say it, but the order failed. Part of me was still holding out... <laughs> this is fucking getting no, creepy! He He's a fucking pig! <laughs> this is Clearly like he's a pig with higher intelligence than anyone else around. Okay, okay. So for Ruben to understand that and to remember that, he would have to understand what the order is, and he'd have to understand exactly what it entails. No, yeah, he's that a means fucking that this, pig. This okay, pig. pigs are smart animals, but they're not that fucking smart. Oh, hey, sup? That that flower looked like a penis. My nipples have just fallen off. You done enough, Ivor? Like, say, single-handedly destroying the entire world? Where this is so Ivor relatively casual. This is Ivor. What, why why He's the guy is who created Jesse the not Storm. more concerned that Ivor is yeah, <laughs> yeah, why is he so casual about it? Like... I think he's just given up. Like He's broken into it. He's just like, fuck it, the world's ending. I don't he's, even give a shit anymore. This is like a little bit miffed. He's like annoyed. Oh my god, why is this asshole? He's this useless asshole. No, no like, but... this is seriously playing like Jesse's the villain. Like, we just saw the scene of Jesse taking Ruben aside, staring at the chaos below them in the night. The Order has failed. Their methods have proven insufficient. It is time for a new Order. But I thought... Fucking shifts in this scene so hard. So he came here to warn us that we're in danger because the amulet is being followed by the fucking wither storm. It tracks it and it homes on it. I feel so like it's been they should have figured that out. Following Jesse this whole fucking time. Yep. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. So like, just put Jesse on that flying machine thing. They already killed one so, innocent with it. <clears throat> So, oh, that'll so, be a so, great so. ending if they tie him up and send him into space. <laughs> okay, 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 so my question is, what is with Orin's, like, like, changing, like, opinion? Because last time was like, I don't care what happened, I'm just an asshole. But now he's like, uh, yeah, I fucked up, I don't, <laughs> what you gotta do, huh? I honestly don't know what changed. Like, we don't get enough time with this villain to understand why he would shift. But like, in this, I, but I, suddenly, like, but he joins the team, and yeah, he just comes along. He's like, I, I need to warn them. I need to help. But yeah, like I get that if it was like if it had happened in like uh, what was that episode? The, episode, the of episode three, two. where we like episode two, where we cornered him in the back. Yeah, like I'd understand that. I understand if he then. Like, was like, oh yeah, I fucked up majorly, I need to help you. But he had this whole fucking segment when he, where he 
beat us up, or we beat him up, whatever, which one, then used a potion of slowness on and just ran away fucking laughing and holding his dick. What? And now he's here, it's like, well, <laughs> I, I, just, I was just drunk. <laughs> Seriously, I was hitting the source for several days in a row, quite a sesh, guys, and now I realise I shouldn't drink. This is what happens. Guys, guys, I was so, I was so fucked up back then. <laughs> yeah, he's Seriously, just if, been on like a million potions of swiftness and has been like living his life on quadruple speed, like going on vacation, like just having plenty of time to think and reflect on his actions. Okay, so I don't play Minecraft, so I only just now realize the command block is an actual thing yes. in Minecraft. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it's not indestructible. I know, and it's just for, like, console commands and shit. Yeah. And yeah. so you can, like, set it to teleport all entities to the nearest player, which apparently includes, like, item cases and stuff like that. And armor stands, and so you click that button, and everything that everyone's built in the map with like item frames and item stands all gets destroyed and teleports to you. But could you use it to like delete chunks of blocks? Not really. No, oh, there's okay. not a command for that. Command block can only do whatever commands are in Minecraft console. You can so summon lightning bolts to a random player. What was that? So basically, let's say we have a hardcore game coming on. Coming this February, we have a hardcore game going on, and someone has placed a block that just, just says, uh, set game mode for a certain character to be creative. So that is, like, possible. Well, we can't stand mm. around and wait for it. Also, just, I like this scene, because Jesse was really fucking casual about Ivor. See how everyone else reacts to the guy who fucking killed everyone. I, I really just half expected him to immediately betray them and stab her. That no one great. cares. No one cares. I mean, Petra has an excuse. Everyone else is bit. No one cares. As long as we have that amulet. Man, you're really trusting this guy. You can't. You're really trusting this guy who just fucking. Just fuck every one of you. You're right, Axel. Yes. <laughs> what do you mean I can't? Why is Axel, like, sacrificing himself with the fucking amulet? I mean, I guess he needed to do something in the last moment to do something. Well, well yeah, well, there's that, like, but what is, like, the plot? What is the character progression with him being, like, I have to carry this sin? And he should have fucked up way harder earlier on in some way. But I feel like they cut out his fuck up. Take care of Gabriel. Why don't they just leave it behind? Yes, I owe him that much at least. Um, yeah, just like could... give it to it. Oh no, no, no! The plan is they are going to get a bunch of Endermen onto it, so they're going back to Soren's fortress, which had a bunch of Endermen. So Axel's going to take it there and basically kite the goddamn thing until Jesse t turns up with the shit. I, the shit being, I can't remember what the shit is. <laughs> There's something else in this plan that's needed, okay? And I don't remember. I'm still insisting that the flying machine is the solution to all this. Just send the fucker into space. It's actually a really good idea, though. You don't even need to tie Jesse. Just put it on the yeah. thing. Put it in a chest, send it to space. What? Leave it for the next planet it turns up on to be a problem. Yeah. Oh, and now we're going to the Far Lands. Because it just had everything that was in Minecraft had to be referenced. Do- okay, do they just, like, straight-up ride horses to the fucking Farlands? Yeah, they're going to do that. <laughs> they- they- it isn't mi the Minecraft map, like, eight times the surface of the Earth. Yes. And not to mention, in the current version of Minecraft, I think they removed the Farlands, didn't they? I did think they, they add did. Them back in? I thought they removed them. I think, there is a... I think it's currently in, though. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, so they added it back. Let me- they... sh let me check my notes. Uh, do, do you hear these? Can someone, I, can someone fucking please, do you have a paper? I do, hang on, do just... Flat, flat yeah. it around, flat it around. Notes! 
It's okay, thanks, thanks. No problem. Of course. What a terrible turn of events. So far lands. Okay, move the nose a bit around them. My crowd is being really slow. More smooth around. Immersive commentary. Oh yeah, yeah, it's not in anymore. It's not in. It was like before 1.8. We present our commentary in 4D. <laughs> Rustling papers five hours apart. Now you see the thing about this whole thing is that that time that timestamps this whole adventure. Well, you aren't. Wait, what? That this happened in the old days of Minecraft when the farmlands oh, yeah, still existed. This happened in 1.7.9. Man, you just... This is really anachronistic, then. There's a bunch of shit here that shouldn't be here. Get shit together. Oh, but Can't they, be convenient but, So like they that. haven't, like, shown, like, things that are actually in 1.8, though? They had banners, you didn't they? Yeah. They did? Okay, so never mind. They're full of shit. <laughs> Maybe the weather storm has been turning back the update version. Like, after a while, they're gonna be on, the like, Minecraft, like, point two or whatever. I, uh, never blame Just suddenly you see words on the side of the screen in <laughs> there. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you see what Magnus fucking said? <laughs> What's George Lucas? doing? I told you. I'm Sorry, George. <laughs> I thought the other ocelots were dead. Oh, Georgie boy. How do you how do you feel about your friend? So, I sent him away in the other one. You know, we have to make differences. We have to do it, so... We gotta keep our group bigger. Yeah, we need numbers. We need more of the Wither Storm to suck up. Given that suck... This confuses me, because this is the playthrough where I treated you nice. I gave you a fucking cookie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Real friends? Excuse me. Stupid. You could get killed out there. And wanting to help my friends. What is with this attitude of us not happy. being his real friends? I don't know. I don't like you though, Lucas. You're just a real shit heel right now. So so in the playthrough where you're a fucking psychopath, Lucas ends up on good terms to you, but when you just try and be nice to the guy, he hates you. So, Eric, you asked what's Lucas's fucking character trait this episode. I'll tell you what it is. Shitty judge of character. That's been it. The whole time, and we never noticed. I'm really glad that Soren gets replaced with <laughs> Ruben in the main run. <laughs> no, no, no. This isn't replacement. You have to go and talk to him right away, or he fucks off and you never get this dialogue. Did you think of anything? The whole scene is laid out in a really weird way, where you have to talk to a certain amount of people, and then fucking... Ivor no, turns up, and no, you can miss. No, no, no. What really happened, Snape? It's just uh, we're being fooled by Telltale with <laughs> with tricks and magicry, magicry, magicry. It's called the Telltale Tool. What really happened is that when we go up on that hill, we will find out that Reuben and Ivor were in on it the whole time. He was the inside man. Sounds impressive. Wow, Je that was some psychopath Jesse shit right there. Yeah, I know, it leaks through occasionally. The ego. This Jesse has a guise of social normality, but deep down is still the same cold hearted, ruthless monster. It's like every one of the dialogue options at times reads like, I'm just saying this because this is what I want, because that's exactly what all of these games are. It's just that this game is the most honest about yeah, it. Yeah, there are social manipulation simulators. I'm not really sure what would be used. It's like, I mean, it's, this, talk about fighting the it this, might be better than Alpha Protocol. No, 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 it no, no, might no, no, be. This version of Jesse is such a hype gal. She likes hyping up everything. But then, when it comes down to the wire, she dies several times in a row, but still pulls through. <laughs> yeah, I like, so I like this hype. Jesse. Like yeah, this is this version of Jesse is my favorite character throughout this whole thing. thing. I every time I'm waiting for extra stuff so I, just so I could see this Jesse. Like this Jesse's incompetent but keeps on trying and has a positive attitude about things. Not the smug fucking psychopath Patton Oswalt Jesse who succeeds whatever he does. 
whatever he chooses to succeed at. That's true. You'll get your chance, Gabriel. If his failure can cause unpleasantness for others, he chooses to not act. Man, I don't even know where to begin. Petra? You don't even know, know where to begin with your biggest exploit that made you all famous. Are you feeling any better? Better is relative. If I just, just an ender dragon. It's pretty easy to take care of. All yeah. things considered. Almost barely. If you think about it, everyone who's beaten Minecraft at least once is an honorary member of the Order of the Stone. Doesn't that feel bad? <laughs> That's the standard you're up against. That's true. You were an accomplice, basically an awful person, Petra. Why do you even care so much? Yeah, she did it all for one diamond, because apparently it's really hard to do stuff in this fucking world. So apparently getting a wither skull is easier than one diamond, somehow. Wait, what did she do? She go- Alright, so her job before all this was she would go to the- she would go to the Never and get things for people. She was basically, I don't know, a with a Never shit runner. She would go and get stuff that other people couldn't get or wouldn't get. So, and for what she did was just she wanted a diamond, which you know, considering what she does at yeah, her job, you think she have a ton of diamonds? She fucking goes to the Nether. To get rare stuff as a job, but can't find a single fucking diamond. Just never trusted mine shafts. <laughs> Although, I, I, I suppose, in fairness, I've never actually found a diamond in the wild at any point ever playing Minecraft. What? Really? How is that never. possible? I, I, you never I casually played Minecraft? I do, but I, I've just never found diamonds. They're not that hard what? to find, it's just, it's not really a case of difficulty, just more of being patient. Yeah, I, I don't spend that much time deep in mines. And that's it, I, I don't mind that deep, I spend much more time with, like, you know, surface. I mean, I don't even really play Minecraft that much anyway, so... I mean, neither do I, I haven't played... That's actually my favourite line in the episode right there, just, Hi, I'm Gabriel, just to the main villain, that actually was somewhat funny. I'll give it that. No, I was gonna say jokingly easier earlier, wouldn't it be great if the way Ivor was introduced, like, the amnesiac Petra, like, wandered off and just bumped into him and was like, Hey guys, I met this guy in the wood and he seems helpful. That would be... That, see, that, that would, would actually be, nice. be quite amusing. But instead it's Soren. 